So we are on the stand with Ozone and Russ talking about their new, well, what is it? Tell us. Uh, this is a Solos harness. Solos is our new reversible harness. And um, obviously it's got a, uh, a rucksack in the back. It's exactly the same as our standard Solos harness that is in production. This is a prototype of something that we're looking into for the future. Uh, and this could possibly go through all our product line. Um, but we're still very much in the development stage. And it's about a renewable, sustainable product, um, which has the minimum amount of impacts on our earth. And we're, we're looking at using organic cotton materials. We're looking at using recycled materials, uh, such as this, which is made from PET, or you know, recycled plastic yeah, bottles yeah. and the like. Yeah. Um, the webbing and the structure is uh, blue sign certified. Blue sign is a is a what is that? Yeah. Is a label that certifies production methods to make sure that they're ecologically sound. They don't throw their waste in the local rivers and the like. Okay. Um, and it's quite a stringent uh, test to get the to, to get the, uh, the the actual label. That, that, the yeah, label. The label. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we're looking to try and reduce the uses of plastics. So we're looking for alternative uh, materials from plastics that are a lot more sustainable. Okay, and are they, would they be manufactured in the same place as these ones? And you just oh, yeah. have that, you, now you've got that label that you can do that in yeah. the same factory, etc. Yeah. I mean, we're looking to do this across our range. Yeah. Obviously, we're, we're flying under plastic wings, yeah. um, so we're, but we're trying to reduce that impact. And I think a lot of people forget exactly that, that we're under a load of plastic already. Well, exactly. Yeah. And um, so we've economized our factory uh, in terms of, uh, Fully solar panel and reduce, trying to reduce the impact as in a, in the small way that we can. Yeah. Uh, so it's not huge, but it's certainly the way forward. And this is our first step looking into that. So are, um, are there any compromises versus the standard Solos? I know um, we've been talking about it a minute ago, but as far as we know at the see, moment, yeah. we can't see a compromise. Obviously, yeah. we don't know the long longevity of the materials and yeah. the like. But there's no reason to suggest that this would not last the normal life of a normal harness. So to reverse it. Yeah. So we put everything neatly inside. Yeah. We flip this bit over. Sorry, uh, ideally, we should, ideally we should uh, deflate the, um, the airbag because then that pocket completely zips up. Yeah. But without that deflated, we can still get this in. And I'm assuming you, you'll be able to fit most lightweight, standard weight wings in, into the harness, yes. into the backpack, sorry. Yeah, when it's, when it's packed correctly and you pack your wing correctly, yeah. we've managed to do it with a, um, a, a normal size, medium, large wing. Normal, a normal medium. weight, normal weight. Yeah, yeah. medium sized wing. But ideally it's suited to more of the Buzz and the Geo and the Swift, uh, the Geo and the Swift and that, that type of thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I think it definitely catches your eye straight away, like I said, because it just looks different, doesn't it, compared it to your standard harness? It's much more organic cotton yeah, looking, and um, it's actually quite sexy. I really like yeah. it. Yeah, no, no, I really yeah. like it.